Good morning, TCHS. Today is Monday, October, t October 21st, 2024. Throughout the school year, don't forget our QROC values. So far this quarter, the seniors are winning the QROC competition with 172 points, the juniors with six 164 points, the freshmen and sophomores are tied for third place with 124 points. Earn a QROC ticket and add points to your class total. There's still time for any class to take the lead. Be resilient, take ownership, make our community great, and be kind. Attention freshmen, there is a class of 2028 meeting in the QPAC Wednesday during Pride. All skiers and snowboarders, signups for Ski Club are now taking place. An email was sent to everybody who showed interest at the club fair. Please email Ms. Capaletti if you are interested and would like to sign up. Attention all students, are you interested in math, problem solving, team building, and meeting new people? Consider joining the math club. We will be having our first meeting on Tuesday, October 22nd in room C220 from 2.15 to 2.45. If you cannot attend and are interested, see Mr. Hunziker for details. We are looking to form competition teams for each grade. The Social Justice Alliance Club is hosting an open house meeting where you can come, see what our meetings are all about, discuss the issues you care about, learn and eat snacks. The open house meeting will be today at 2.15 in B208. For all girls interested in girls flag football, we are having a showcase this Saturday, October 26th. Stop by the athletic office to receive the paper with the information to sign up. Now to sports with Connor. The Eagles won their game versus the Giants 28-3. This year's Powder Puff game will be after school on Tuesday, November 12th. The cost will be $15 and profits will benefit the Suzanne G. Komen Foundation. Field Hockey will play their first playoff game versus CB South today at 5 p.m. on QNB Field. Show out to support and good luck, girls. Now back to the news desk. The QCHS Future Readiness Center, Room B113, is hosting over 25 college, military, and trade school representatives. Throughout the fall, juniors and seniors are strongly encouraged to participate. Check out the link in Canvas announcements for more information and to sign up. For any questions, contact Mr. Gossard at egossard at qcsd.org. Juniors and seniors, military recruiters from the Army, Navy, and Air Force will be visiting Clarytown High School this week. If you are interested in exploring career opportunities, learn about training timelines, college tuition assistance, and more, don't miss out on these small group meetings. The U.S. Army will be visiting tomorrow, October 22nd at 9.30, the U.S. Navy Tuesday, October 23rd at 9 a.m., and the U.S. Air Force next Monday, October 28th at 11.30. All meetings will be held in room B113. If you would like to attend any of these 30-minute sessions, Please sign up through your Naviance account. To register, go to Clever, Naviance College, College Visits. For any questions, contact Mr. Gossard at egossard at qcsd.org. Attention juniors, the Pennsylvania Department of Education is pleased to announce that the Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Sciences of Carnegie Mellon University is now accepting applications from talented high school juniors for the 2025 summer program. PGSS is an intensive five-week summer residential program for high school juniors pursuing careers in science and mathematics. Please click on the link in your Canvas announcements for more information and application materials. Now to weather with Connor. This morning was a slight cold start the day with a low in the 40s, but it's going to get nice and warm later today with a high in the 70s. Now back to the news desk. Attention students, please settle all obligations, including classroom books and library books, ASAP. You will not be permitted to attend dances or other school events until all obligations are cleared. A reminder for freshmen to check for a form to complete on your class Canvas page. If you are interested in becoming a class officer for the class of 2025. On Wednesday, November 6th, we will hold our fourth annual multicultural fair. If you are interested in representing your culture, a form will be sent out shortly. If you have any questions, email Senora Fuller at bfuller at qcsd.org or Mr. Nelson at Mr. Nelson at qcsd.org. Yearbook pickups. Any students who have not picked up a 2024 yearbook should see Ms. Gatto and see 120 before school, after school, or during Pride. Quote of the week. Love the trees until their leaves fall off, then encourage them to try again next year. Chad Sugg. 
Have a great day, Panthers. Panthers.